Right, now down in this side we want a really strong, a stronger yellow. So use the cadmium yellow, use the cadmium yellow, add a little bit of yellow orchid to it, so it's just that bit strong, and make it a lot stronger than what you've been doing. But still, still wet so that you can float it in. And just go into the top area here and float that in. Just come down through your shutters. You're not worried about your shutters, you'll, you'll paint over them in a minute or two. So you're coming down through your shutters and just putting in this stronger yellow, just working it in so it's a lot more strength under your shadows there. So again, just go through go through your windows and your shutters. You're going you're gonna to add a little bit of greenery to them afterwards. Stronger down here. Just dropping more strength in if necessary. Down through here. Now go around the top of your brolly. So you leave the brolly just white. So around the top of the brolly, just leaving the brolly, brolly white. Don't make the paint too thick that it blots out your pen and ink. So if it looks as though it's gone on too thick, just wet it and tone it down. Round your brolly, down into the shadows, underneath your brolly, into the figures. Now while that's drying, We'll put some shade and colour into this side over here. So you want yellow orchid. You want yellow orchid. A little bit of yellow. And just suggesting a little bit of shading coming from underneath these areas here. So especially under there. More yellow orchid than yellow. So you're just getting it a little bit more brown. But again, don't make it that strong that you, you obliterate your, your, your pen and ink. So pull it out. Dry, dry your brush off if you think you've got too much paint on. And just pull some shadow across here, down through the building. Just creating that little bit of shadow off that, off that blind and under the table. A few looser patches in, into there. Do the same underneath the balconies. Just go underneath your balcony, put a little bit of shadow down, a little bit of shadow down to the, the side of the, the shutter. Same up there, a little bit of shadow just under the framework, under the shutter. Just pulling a little bit of shading down around there. And again, where you drew the shadow in, just fill that in with a little bit of shading just there. Right, that's fine, into there. Now, come to this area here. And get a strong yellow yellow orchid. Get some cadmium red. Get some cadmium red. So you're creating a nice sort of strong warmth into here. And paint the shadows underneath here. So you're putting shadow underneath these eaves down here. Quite strong. Get them into there like that. Pull them down a little bit. So they're casting a nice shadow. And then just wet it out. Just get some clean water and just wet it wet it out so it, it vanishes. So just keep drying your brush and pulling these shadows down so they, they stay strong in the top. So a little bit more strength in the top. They stay stronger up there into them areas there. Drop a little bit more cadmium red in. So you're just getting that little bit of strength into them shadows. And do the same under the blinds. So cadmium red in your yellow. Do the same under, underneath your balcony, sorry. Just washing shadows down from your balconies. A few little flicks to suggest a little bit of light on there. Do the same around the edges of your shutters down there. Under that balcony again. Don't take it too far out because we try to just lose it off. Into these shades here. Getting the shadows stronger just underneath here. 
and pull down round these figures across here. And do the same with the red and the yellow. Do the same down here. Drop it in a bit stronger just down here so that it feels like as you're going into the street down there, it's getting darker. More shadows into that street coming out from there. And a little bit of flicks just underneath the figures there. So you can see how you've created a bit of depth there and a bit of feeling of sort of shadows and movement. Making sure you get some underneath the shutters, just little touches underneath the shutters. And definitely underneath the balconies and under the shadows off there. Right, we'll come back and we'll do the stronger shadows onto these buildings here at the front. Right, now we'll create a little bit more warmth and shadow into these areas. So, to make it a nice strong shadow, get uh, some cadmium red. Some cadmium red with your yellow, so you've got a warmth to it. And just paint a strong shadow in this top up here. So coming into this, into this top area here, just put a nice warm shadow coming from underneath that roof. Paint round the blinds, because we're going to put the blinds in a bit of colour. Paint round the blinds and take it down to above that line there. So you're creating a, a warmth there. So a strong, strong wash into there. Take it down that side and out of the picture over there. Right, pull a little bit just underneath there, a little bit of shadow under there, and a little bit of shadow just under there. Right, now get the red a bit stronger. Get the red a bit stronger and make it just that little bit stronger coming down from the underneath of the E, so a little bit more strength and just let that wash down into that edge there. Now come and do the same principle down this side here, so making this shadow here stronger. Water it out from the, the pencil, the pen marks you made, so it's, the pen marks aren't sticking above it, so water it out from the pen marks. And this is cadmium red with your, your yellow, but stronger. And pull that down into the shadows. Across out here, like that, round the top of your brolly. Round your figures. And up into them figures there. And along there. So you've got a nice strong shadow. You can probably, now that that's dried up there, you can probably go in a little bit stronger up into these tops here. So you get a little bit more stronger shadow underneath. Underneath your balconies and underneath your edges there. And again, probably a little bit more stronger shadow down in that far distance, just there, like that. Pull the shadow up a bit stronger into the amongst these figures so it feels as though the shade coming down into this area here, off the brolly. Into there like that. I'll get a little bit of blue, French ultramarine. A little bit of French ultramarine. Like that. And a little bit of pale yellow, like a, a, a lemony yellow if you want. And just blend the French ultramarine and the lemony yellow together. And just suggest a little bit of colour into these shutters. So you can you can pull it into there. But very, just very pale, just washed over. You don't have to keep within the lines, to be quite honest. You can just pull them down and just create a little bit of colouring into them shutters, taking it up there and just vanishing it out of sight. Do the same on these shutters down here, just a little bit of colour into them, into there, and the same onto these. You'll have to let that bit dry, but you can put the same little bit of colouring into them shutters there, into them, into them. Darken down inside that window a little bit, and inside that one and inside that. A little bit of shutters into there. Uh, a little bit of 
of your bluey grey that you use down here and just create a little bit of shading into that lamp so that it's not it's not sticking out bright white so a little bit of shading into there and maybe into that bit there use a strong accent of blue well actually you can make it any colour you fancy blue or red use a strong accent and just shade this blind out so we'll make one a, a bright blue and we'll make one a bright red you could if you wanted make that bright red as well so if you wanted that to be bright red you can I've just left it white but if you wanted it to be a bright colour you can do. 